What is the purpose of life? It's one of the biggest questions people ask at some point in their lives, and I'll go ahead and tackle that today, hopefully giving you a pretty good answer. I think it is anyway. My name is Edgar Ortega, handsome blind guy, I post videos tackling the big questions of life, such as what is the purpose of life? Does God exist? Why is there suffering? That kind of thing. And we also talk about positive habits of mind that you can develop so that you can make yourself stronger, make yourself better, so that you can face the difficulties that come along in life. And I have, every now and then I'll talk about what it's like having lost my vision. So that's my struggle. You have yours, but it doesn't matter what it is. We can use these struggles to become better people. Anyway, if you like this sort of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get updates each time I upload a new video. Anyway, on to our big question today. Probably the biggest question people ask is what is the purpose of life? And I'm not I'm arrogant enough to tell you that I know the answer, but I can give you um, an outline of what you can use for a very, uh, as a very good answer, I think, in, <laughs> at least in my opinion. So let me know what you think, okay? In order to discover the purpose of life, I think it would be good to try to figure out uh, what is the best that we can do in life. So if our purpose um, exists in life, if we have a purpose or if we create a purpose, whatever it is, it should be the best that we can do in some way. And if we look at life, we should examine, well, what is the worst thing that exists in the world? And if we can help that or lessen that worst thing, then there lies the purpose of life. So if we think of the worst thing in existence in the world that we have to deal with, um, whatever it is, I spoke of it at the beginning a little bit, is suffering. At some point in your life, you are going to suffer. Your neighbors are going to suffer. Your friends, your family, everybody you love, everybody you know and don't know, will encounter difficulties in life. These are the bad things, no matter what they are, whether it's your bad health, um, loss of somebody, uh, or moments in your life where you maybe feel like everything's going wrong, you're getting divorced, you lost somebody you love, um, those sort of things. You, you got a diagnosis, I lost my vision, could be something like that, right? Um, we go through this suffering. No one is exempt. And so the best thing that we can do in life is to do what we can to alleviate that suffering, to lessen the suffering that's in the world by whatever it is that we do to help, what we can do to help that. And so if the worst thing in the world is human suffering, and the best thing that we can do is to alleviate that suffering, then we have to figure out what it is that we can do in our lives to lessen the suffering in the world. And this will go on into the next video where I will examine what, how do you discover your specific purpose in life. But knowing this information, or at least thinking about it, the worst thing in the world being human suffering, and the best that we could do would be to alleviate that suffering. And wherever it is that you've been placed in the world, you can start to do that right away. And part of it comes from serving your, your very specific purpose in the world and I can help you uh, discover what that is. We'll do that in the next video. But what's the purpose of life? To help alleviate the suffering that's in the world. And we can begin first in our own lives because if our lives are not uh, together, then we can't help those around us, right? So we have to figure out how to get our lives together. That's what this channel is about in part. And then we begin expanding outward to fulfill our purpose. We've gotten our own life together. We've cleaned up our own room, as Jordan Peterson might say. And then we begin to expand outward, maybe to our family members. We do what we can for our family when they're going through difficult times. We can be there for our family members. We can help them. We can help alleviate that suffering that is in their world. We begin to form friendships, connections, 
with uh, people around us, people at work, right, or old friends, uh, people we meet at the, well, it doesn't matter, we're expanding outward from family to friends, then we begin to help those people in our very own specific way, depending on where and when you've been placed in the world in this very specific time. And if you think you can expand further by helping more people beyond, your fam beyond yourself, beyond your family, beyond your circle of friends and acquaintances, then by all means, if you can find a way to do that, do so. It might be you, you need to further educate yourself to get a job or to put yourself in a position, uh, whatever it may be, where you are in a position to help the most amount of people alleviate the suffering that's in the world. And this isn't always straightforward, but depending on where we are in life, we can always do good. We can always do things to add to the goodness in the world. And so, again, our purpose in life is to combat the worst thing in the world, which is human suffering, at least the worst thing that we feel. And then by doing that, we begin to discover our own purpose, our very own specific purpose of life. But as a generality, the purpose of life, we can think of it as helping alleviate that worst thing in the world, human suffering, beginning with ourselves, expanding out to our family, and out in the world. And you can do this every single day. At the same time, avoiding contributing to the suffering that's in the world. We've all done bad things. We've done things we regret. We've hurt people, right? Well, now that we understand this, we try to minimize that as much as possible. Working on ourselves goes a long way with that. And then as we go about our day, look for opportunities to relieve the suffering in the world. It might be simply as saying hi to somebody, giving somebody a hug that you know, preferably. <laughs> you don't want to give strangers hugs. Uh, not usually anyway. But whatever it is, look for little things in the world, in your place in the world, in that time that you've been placed in this world, every day to relieve the suffering that's out there. And you will begin to fulfill your purpose on this planet. And there's more to it than that. We can expand on this quite a bit, but um, we'll do that in a fur further video. Our next video, my next video, will be talking about how you can discover your specific purpose. And we'll tackle that next time. If you enjoy content like this, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Like this video. If you enjoyed it, if you think it could help others, if you think it could help others, uh, if you could alleviate the suffering in the world by sharing this video, by all means, do so. I appreciate it. It really helps this channel. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time in the next video, and you'll discover how you can discover your specific purpose um, on this planet Earth. I'll see you uh, in the next video, or rather, you'll see me.